So in order to avoid having our multiplies turned into shifts, let's go ahead and use some non-powers of 2. So we've got defected times detectable divided by too bad, so sad. That's going to lead to the generation of a divide instruction and an imul because, as we said before, Visual Studio really likes signed multiplies over unsigned multiplies. So the unsigned divide instruction has three basic forms, which I'm showing you all of just to show sort of the progression as things have extended over time. The first form was the 16-bit AX divided by an 8-bit RM8. The quotient went into AL and the remainder went into A high. Then in 32-bit mode, there was the 64-bit value EDX concatenated with EAX, so that's the upper 64 bits in EDX, lower 64 bits in EAX, divided by an RM32. The quotient went to EAX, and the remainder went into EDX. And in 64-bit, same thing, upper 64 bits of 128 value in RDX, lower 64 in RAX, divided by an RM64. Quotient goes into RAX, remainder goes into RDX. If, for instance, you're in 32-bit mode, but the dividend is actually only 32 bits, and there's nothing going to be in EDX, for instance, then the compiler could just, you know, zero out the upper bits as we see in the assembly that's generated for this example. You can see there's an XOR that zeroes out the register. And as expected, if the divisor is zero, a divide by zero exception is raised because we're not allowed to divide by zero. So quick, simple examples in that 16-bit version, AX, let's say AX had the value eight divided by an RM8, which happens to be CX, then eight divided by three is two, remainder two. Or the longer version, eight divided by five is one, remainder three. Now the disassembler might actually write it like this, you know, div rax by rcx, but the actual form, it's the only thing that's actually being specified is the RM64 or the RM32. These divide instructions always hard code that they must have the value in rdx, rax, edx, eax, etc they only use that as the thing that's going to be divided. You can't specify any other registers to place it into. So necessarily the compiler might have to move things into RDX, RAX before doing the actual division. And then just to get out ahead of it, the IDIV is the signed version of divide. So if you were to go change the variables in MULDIV example to signed, then you would get an IDIV instead of a div. Exact same forms, exact same hard coding of, you know, it must be this register combination divided by an RM64, same place as quotient and remainder. And same results in terms of whether or not the compiler is going to, you know, zero out the upper bits if they're unused. So FE, now this is the signed divide, so FE is negative two divided by two gives you negative one remainder zero. Or in 64 bits, if you had Stella, Yes, I'm very sad. I didn't see that there was Stella in hex words, and so I really wish I would have incorporated this into our Balboa Bled Blood examples, maybe next time. If you take Stella divided by bold, you get 7F with a remainder of 82B7. 10 internet points to anyone who can find me some words which, when divided by other words, yield either a word in the quotient or a word in the remainder. So now is the time for all bold students to go forth and step through the assembly and check your understanding.